Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to process texts efficiently using the Spacey Natural Language Processing Library. When you start working with larger volumes of texts, it's important to make the Natural Language Processing Pipeline as efficient as possible. What you want to do is to collect all the texts and then feed them to Spacey for processing all at once. So let's go ahead and define a toy example. So what I'm going to do here I'm going to load a small spacey language model for English, assign the language model under the variable NLP, and then I'm going to define a list of some example sentences under the variable sense. So now we have a toy example with three sentences, each one of them a Python string object in a list called sense. The language model that we have stored under the variable NLP which is a spacey language object, contains a method named pipe, which is optimized for processing texts stored in Python lists. So if we take a look at this method, we're simply going to feed the sentences to the pipe method and assign the result under the variable docs. So if you take a look at this cell right here, I'm going to run this cell and what we get back is a generator object. In this case, the generator object will yield individual doc objects, but to examine the doc objects, we need to catch the output of the generator. To catch the output from a generator, we need to cast the output into some data structure, which we can then examine. And in this case, the natural candidate is a list, so we use the list function from Python to cast the generator into a list and then we just replace or override the variable docs. So as you can see, casting the generator into a list provides us access to the contents of the generator, which in this case consists of three Spacey doc objects. So just to summarize, if you use Spacey to work with large volumes of text, be sure to collect the texts into lists first and then process them using the pipe method. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.